Hi, all right, so today is gonna to be a transformation video and a photo shoot. So if you wanna see how I transformed into this and transformed my bedroom into this, then stay tuned, this is for you. Like this video right away and subscribe if you ever wanna see my face again. This is what I always say, I can always unfollow them. Go ahead and give me a subscribe and a like and let's get started. Alrighty, so this is what we're starting with. I have only moisturized. I'm gonna go in with this foundation and just bring it all over so that I have a blank canvas to start with, as always. With the e.l.f. makeup, we're gonna try to just do really soft, elongated, and chiseled features. Not so chiseled that I look super contoured because I have a baby face, but, um, contoured enough to where I've got a clear bone structure happening. Uh, but other than that, it's going to be just pretty soft all around, pretty natural looking. Uh, yeah. gonna go in and contour with a powder. You can't tell, this powder is a kind of cool tone purple color. It's very subtle. It works really well with my skin tone. If I go too bronzed or warm tone, it just looks super crazy on me. So this is kind of what I do as general shadow all over my face. Um, anywhere that I will have a shadow and then if I do want to add a blush or something like that later I'll do it later, but this is kind of my base All right, brow time. So I'm gonna do them pretty far in, pretty straight and pretty angled upward. So I'm not gonna have a whole lot of arc going up and down. We're not drawing mountains today, just like one bird. One bird with its wings up high, flying through the majesty that is my face. This is just a really light powder. I'm going to just lock in all of those bits where my contour isn't. Lock it in, baby. Now I'm going to go in with that same color again and just start doing darker shadows around my eyes. And I'm doing a kind of flicking out motion towards the outside of my eyes, making a big triangle leading up and out to elongate the section of face where my eyes are, kind of. Next, I'm gonna kinda chisel out my cheeks more than normal, um, and I'm gonna bring it all the way down to almost my chin and Basically, I'm creating like the kind of lines down your face where if you smile, it's kind of around your mouth. I'm kind of creating those in a darker way than I normally would bother. I'm just gonna line my lips now with a muted kind of mulberry cool tone color. This matches, um, it just is a really good color for me. Once again, the cool tone. They say if your lipstick matches your nipples, then that's the right shade for you. So that's why I found this lip color. Just gonna prime my lashes and do those real quick. Doing those the same as always. I forgot to mention, I went ahead and did my eyeliner off camera. I used a blackish brown liquid liner and I did a really thin line, mostly on the outer part of my eye, and then extended it in a straight line out. Really, very simple. It's really just gonna accentuate my lash line more than anything. 
And boom, lashes! Here come the exciting part, the elf ears. So these are just a really thin latex material. They have already been makeuped in my coloring because I've used them before, so they just have that existing makeup color on them. I'm just going to use a liquid latex lash glue to adhere them. I'm not going to do a really professional adhering today because I'm going to wear a wig that's going to cover up the seam anyway. Yeah. So basically your ear just goes inside of it and then you glue around the edges. I definitely glued a bunch of my baby hairs into this ear and it really sucked to get off. Um, just be cautious of that if you're ever going to put a prosthetic on is um, tiny hairs. Tiny hairs. I always forget how cute these are. Like, how can you be mad at me when I look like this? Alrighty, so this is my room right now. And I'm going to hang this tapestry as my backdrop. It has, it has trees on it. Okay, I'll show you that when it's done. We're gonna incorporate the plants. It's gonna be a grand time. Alright, cue the setting up montage. If you want to skip this part, just go ahead and go to the 10 minute mark. Now it was time to find the cloak. 
What I need is way back there. I don't wear it every day, so it's, you know, not just on the top of my wardrobe. Where is she? She's alright. Maybe in this closet? At this point, I realized she was not here, and turned out she was in the first closet, right in the front. So. It's wig time. If I was wearing this wig out, I would definitely take time to like braid my hair, put on a hairnet, and glue down my wig. But since I was only wearing it to take pictures in my room and then take it off, I just put my hair in a bun um, pretty loosely out of my face and called it a day. Alrighty, so here is what I look like. Here is what the final set looks like. And then I found this other uh, little plant that's a fake plant, and I think I didn't have anywhere to hang it up here, but I think I'm just gonna use it as a prop. And then this is my setup for shooting. How's that? I'm just going to take a break and look over some of the photos. This is what I've got going on. The hanger is holding onto my pop socket to hold my phone in place. So I actually just recently got the Galaxy S20 Plus and this phone actually has um, four cameras. So it's actually got pretty good capabilities. And let's just take a look at how some of these turned out. So 
so I definitely know I want to adjust the frame a little bit so that I make sure my feet get in in the future. But I like how a lot of these are turning out. I think that with a little editing, they're going to be really cute. Aww. I like when the white dress can be seen. I'm going to edit some like magical kind of beam situation happening in my hand. Yeah, so if you want to see the final product of these, um, on my Instagram as always. I also normally have a not safe for Instagram version on my OnlyFans, so check that out as well. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I had a lot of fun with this video. Now watch me suffer.